As we, as everyone knows, we are really interested in the extraterrestrials and the UFO, and um, we know that there is some something going on in our yard, and in the surrounding areas. <laughs> and um, we went out and we were photographing, videotaping, and um, after we were done, I went inside and put the lights on and. My sister was still outside, and um, you know, she was doing her own thing, and and uh, but I was kind of wondering why she was taking so long, but you know, I realized why, and um, I'm not gonna call it creepy or anything like that because you know I don't know if these are good beings or bad, but they might be good, you know, and we can't judge them by what they look like or whatever, so. Um, watch and um, I'll narrate it as we go along and um, okay um, this is um, really from my sister's word that she said that she saw lights from the skies well you know she heard like um, something flying over and she was running after it and then um, after that uh, for some reason, you know, we all have, we have a tendency to be able to sense what to focus on. And she focused on the door, and um, this is what she kind of, she caught. And kind of creepy. I mean, I don't want to call it creepy, like I said, because, you know, to them, this could be beauty. And uh, so... Just watch. Um, this being had a face. The face had lights in the, in the eyes. And the eyes kept changing colors from side to side. From blue, green, you know, um, different colors. So it was very unusual. And this is not something that you see every day. <laughs> I mean, I just went outside and I took a video of the door and it was not like this at all. It was just a door. I could see the inside of the house, you know. So it's, uh, something is there. Uh, we, well, we already know that um, extraterrestrials are here. As you can see, this thing is really starting to move. Nothing. Um, uh, an extraterrestrial is really starting to move. And uh, I don't know what's causing the movement. Uh, it could be anything. It could be the chemtrails. It could be the other extraterrestrials. It could be the beam itself. I don't know. Okay, she's going to start zooming in a little bit closer. She told me that she felt a little bit scared, but not really, you know. Um, but we all feel a little fear when you see something that you're not expecting to see. And um, you can s still see the eyes uh, glowing from one side to another. And uh, this is supposed to be our front door. This is, we have like this mirrored glass door and um, there's no, I've never seen anything like this. I just took a video of, of the door tonight and nothing like this. But, you know, nothing surprises me anymore around here. We've seen a lot of unusual stuff, so. Now you're gonna start to see, uh, they start, uh, being starts to get really erratic and and it has like a warning signal or something I don't know what it is this light goes on on the top and um, pretty soon it's going to make a turn it's going to turn sideways so you know it's not the door see 
what's tricky about these extraterrestrials or, or whatever terrestrials they can mimic your door uh, we could be looking at a parallel universe uh, whatever they can mimic and the door actually turns sideways so you know it's not our door so we're looking in another dimension see that and then we get back into our normal dimension to back to our earth That's about it. Thank you for watching. And um, this is going to be part two. What happened in the morning? Thank you.